Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will show you some upgrades I have done to my DIY CNC spindle that can easily be applied to any standard router you may have in your machine. Let's get to it! For the CNC I have built I use a Festool MFK700 EQ as a spindle. For this router I have two collets that accept 6 and 8 mm bits. This may be enough for most of the works I can ever imagine doing, but I would like to be able to use industry standard ER collets for a different end mills I can get someday. For this to be possible, I am going to use a collet that allows use of 8mm bits. It is going to be used to hold the 8mm shaft that is a piece of a 3D printer linear rail. On the other end of the shaft I will install an ER16 chart that I've got from eBay. It is a cheap Chinese made but looks pretty well manufactured. It is very tight to fit, but keeping the shaft in the freezer for an hour helped fitting the pieces together. Of course the shaft is way too long, so I need to cut it to size. Here are the ER16 collets I've got from the AliExpress. Installing collet in the nut requires pushing it until it clicks in place, then you can insert the end mill. Having a full set of collets from 1mm to half inch gives me the opportunity to use pretty wide range of bits. As I said before, the shaft is uh, way too long, so I cut it to the more appropriate length with a knife. And now I can install the assembly in the rotor.
Festool uses their own standard plug-in system to attach the mains cable, but I don't have a spare cable, so I use the standard mains cable with a plug that is named a figure of eight. It requires a bit of fiddling with the knife to remove a part of the casing, but then fits perfectly and costs a fraction of the original Festool cable. I haven't measured it properly, but just looking at the collet, it doesn't seem to have a huge amount of runout. And now it is time for some basic tests. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.